Assalamu alaikum and hi everyone. This is Abdurrahman Al Hamid. In today's tutorial, we will learn how to make this awesome candy machine using the Rika bit. So, before we start, let's see what's the components and the materials we need in order to make this project. We will be using the Rika bit servo motor ultrasonic sensor with groove to female header cable and battery holder to power up the recapit now let's begin with making the candy box here we have cardboards i will cover them with white papers and this is something optional to do I will glue this piece of paper on the front side of the box which you can also print it out using the link in the description below. Now let's attach the cardboard parts with each other. For the next step, we will make the cone that will store the candy. Make sure to cover the cone using an aluminium foil to store and keep the candy safe. And lastly, we will need an extra piece of cardboard to attach it with the servo motor in order to allow and block the candy from falling down to the second cone. Now let's attach the components we have to the box. Make sure to connect the ultrasonic sensor with groove cable this way so it can match our code later on. Now guys, the candy machine is almost ready. We just left with programming the rig a bit and we will be ready to try it out. Okay, after we connected the rig a bit to our laptop, let's open make code micro bit and make a new project. Let's name it candy machine. Okay, now let's begin programming the micro bit. On start, we will make a variable called distance for the ultrasonic. We will go over here, make a variable, we will name it distance, and we will set this distance to zero. And then for the loop one, we will start by showing an icon. And here you have many icons you can choose whatever you like but i will go with this one after this we will add an extension called recabit we will add it and then we will open it and set the servo motor to 180 degree after that we will open the Recabit extension and we will set all the LED to the blue color. 
and then we will make the ultrasonic sensor read the distance and store it in the distance variable. So we will open this one and set distance to the ultrasonic. How to do this? We will go to extension again and search for sonar. We will add it and then open it and we will drag this to over here. We will make the trick to pin 0 and the echo to pin 1 and we will make the unit centimeter. Now we want to let the ultrasonic whenever it sends our hand to open the servo motor and in order to do this we will go to the logic and add an F condition. We will drag this one over here and then we will open the logic again and drag this one over here. We will take the distance variable and we will make it equal or less than 10 centimeter. And we will take this over here. Now our condition is ready. So whenever the distance is equal or less than 10 centimeter, we will do the following. The first thing we want to do is changing the LED to the red color. So we will go over here and set all the LED to the red color. Now we want to change the icon of the micro bit. So we will go to the basic, show lids, and we will draw an arrow down to indicate the dropping of the candy. Right after this, we will change the angle of the servo motor. So we will go to this extension and we will set the servo motor to 50 degree. We want to make sure the servo motor open and close real quick. So we will go to the basic and add a delay. And we will make it for 100 millisecond. After this, we will set the servo back to 180 degree and we will clear all the LED we add before to turn it off and after that for the final step we will add a delay for 2 seconds. Ok guys now the code is ready let's download it and compile it over the micro bit. We will go over here and download it. We will take this file and copy it and then we will paste it on the micro bit over here. Now the candy machine is ready, let's try it out. Okay guys, if you enjoyed this tutorial, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And we will meet you again in more fun tutorials. Thank you.